What's poppin' all right fam? Uh ball checking in here. And today we have a lot to discuss. Now let's jump right into it. First off, salute notification game, hitting that like button before the video even start. Y'all the real art fam. Salute anyway. Up oh, first, we got that boy Chris Brown. Now, usually when we're speaking on Chris Brown, it's over that fake Soldier Boy versus Chris Brown boxing match that never happened. Speaking of fights, why, Habib, why did you have to pull out the fight, fam? Mismanaging your weight, bro. Anyway, hope you feel better. I really wanted to see that Tony Ferguson versus Habib fight, man, tomorrow night. Dang. I guess I'll watch Warner Boy versus Taiwan Whitley, man. But anyway, let's get into the story. Now, you had people coming out saying Chris Brown was actually ducking Soldier Boy, bro. But that's another story, man. That story is much softer and not as severe as what being said about Chris Brown today. All these alleged acts that brand tarnishing, bro. Like allegedly hitting Karuchi. Allegedly trying to put that bag on Karuchi friend's head, bro, to get them clout. Also, allegedly being a drug addict. They saying that about Chris Brown on that nose candy. They trying to get Chris Brown out of here. All these stories coming back to back to back. Every week, there's something new about Chris Brown that's coming out. But Chris Brown seems to know where all this is coming from. My fans getting all the scoop on who these pooper shooters is. Clay, that's my old security. He's been selling secret stories to TMZ for years. He's untrustworthy. He got fired. That's one. I'm blessed to be in the position I'm in. I'm happy to take care of my family, my daughter, everything, and accomplish everything I've ever wanted to. And I ain't even 30 yet. We will not let you bitch ass niggas succeed. Remember that. So basically, Chris Brown is denying all of these allegations and saying his ex security guard is selling fake stories out here, bruh. This is why they always tell you, you want to find out how somebody really feel about you, stop doing for them. Or get them pissed off and they will tell the truth on how they really feel about you, bro. When you get a person mad, they go to saying things they've been holding in for years. They go to saying how they really feel about you, bro. Always pay attention to what a person got to say when they mad and they drunk, bro. Especially when they off that dark liquor. They get that dark liquor courage and they think they can jump off a 12-story building and land on their feet. You go to feel it invincible when you're on that dark liquor, man. You go to speak your mind. You go to saying the things you've been wanting to say. So always pay attention to what a drunk and mad person got to say about you, man. This is what I see what's going on with Chris Brown. I see it a lot with entertainers. They be having people around them. They have them on their payroll. Soon as they cut their payroll and fire them, they go to selling secrets. They go to selling fake stores. They go doing anything they can to get back at the person that fired them and stop their bag from coming in. They feel like they owe them something and they build up about being fired. Even when it comes to entertainers and their best friend, as soon as they cut their best friend off and stop paying them for no reason, the other person go to selling stores, the blogs, they go to telling lies, they go spreading secrets that's supposed to be kept between you and your best friend. So that's probably what's going on with Chris Brown. He done cut Buddy off. He done fired him. Buddy probably bitter. Probably broke right now. And he looking for some bread from anywhere. So we got to hold our judgment until we get some solid evidence. I need y'all to comment down below. What do you think about this whole situation? Also comment down below. Do you believe that Chris Brown is a drug addict? Let me know in the comment section down below. Up next, we got Fox and Brian and Remy Ma. Now, ever since this Sheetha drop, it been causing chaos as we spoke on before, bro. Something new comes from this situation every day. Last night, you had Remy Ma dropping a second disc, which a lot of people had mixed emotions about. But let's fast forward to today. You got Foxy Brown dropping a disc on that girl Remy Ma. Now, we all know Nicki Minaj and Foxy Brown cool, but a lot of people think this beef just stemmed from what Remy Ma had to say about Foxy Brown and Sheetha. She called a little crossfire. She said talking shit about me to a deaf bitch. And usually I have sympathy for the impaired, but not when you're hard of hearing for untreated gonorrhea. But you point the fingers at me. I'm the bad girl. Then she went on to murk Nicki Minaj for the rest of the song. Bruh, if you haven't done your Googles, you need to do them. This Remy Ma and Foxy Brown situation been balling for years. This dates way back in the day. As you can see, ain't nothing timid going on over here. Soft niggas go hide up under the bed. Whatever you got to do, get out the way. Ain't nothing timid about this situation. Now, we heard Remy Ma take a shot at Foxy Brown about her being deaf, and Foxy Brown said something about her miscarriage. Things are getting heated, fam. Now, if you're a fan of hip-hop, you understand the situation. Y'all know how this goes. 
ain't no holes bars when it comes to this song you can mention anything you could come at people moms you could do everything ain't no such thing as crossing the line but that's just how hip-hop goes man it's a competitive sport and you gotta win by any means but i need y'all to comment down below do you think Remy Ma will respond also comment down below what do you think about this whole situation up next we got that boy bankroll fresh now we all know tomorrow will make a year that bankroll fresh got gunned down that situation is crazy bro the cops say it's complicated they still trying to get people to come forward to see was bankroll fresh the aggressor and was the other person acting out of self-defense but his team is still making his name Levon, which is a good situation. They're trying to keep Bankroll Fresh name alive and keep his music coming out because a lot of people was pissed off about it because they felt like a person with a lot of potential got took away from us too soon. So I'm glad his team is still pushing his music out. Bankroll Fresh got an album dropping on April the 24th. So be on the lookout for that, man. So that's good news for Bankroll Fresh fans. Anyway, I need y'all to comment down below. Will you be copping that new Bankroll Fresh? Anyone about to be out of here, sub to the channel if you haven't. Press that sub button also press that bell beside it so you get a notification anytime of video follow me on twitter links in the description follow me on ig at relatable so y'all man we're on that 100k grind uh ball gone